basically this uh, the procedure for the, the race consists in producing the molds in silicon and then replicating these molds in a photopolymer. Uh, to produce the molds, here it's illustrated for one lens. To produce the molds, we start with an inverted parameter in a, in a silicon wafer. And then we submit the silicon wafer to endotropic etching by uh, potassium hydroxide. And uh, it starts etching uh, crystalline planes of higher uh, Miller indices. And what we get in the end, after some time, is a spherical cavity, uh, which is the mold for that lens. Here I have some pictures of uh, two samples uh, we have built. Uh, in each sample we have here uh, the array with uh, 60 <coughs> micro lenses, uh, the one with the, uh, which was optimized, another one which was optimized with 10 micro lenses, and two regular arrays for comparison, one with 60 micro lenses and uh, the, the other with 36 micro lenses in a rectangular geometry. The replication uh, was performed by first coating the, the mold with a very thin layer of PMMA so that we could have, we could reduce the addition of the photopolymer with the silicon wafer. And then we just put the uh, photopolymer uh, on top of this uh, PMMA layer and curved with ultraviolet light. And these are the results we, we got. Here I have the array with, uh, the optimized array with 60 micro lenses, the optimized array with 10 micro lenses, uh, the rectangular array with 16, and here with 36 micro lenses. Uh, these other structures uh, in the side of the arrays are just some marks for orientation in the optical range. Uh, this is, these are the results of the first uh, attempt we had to fabricate this there in, in our university. And after fabricating these micro lenses, we used the optical range there in, in the optical lab to test these micro lenses. Uh, in the optical bench, we put our fabricated arrays here in the way from uh, uh, sensor and we use the test aberration. To build this test aberration, we have uh, dropped uh, the same photopolymer on top of the cover glass and spread it randomly on top of the cover glass and then curved with uh, ultraviolet light. Um, we have done this a few times until we could get uh, an aberration which was similar to the statistics we used. Um, here, in black, I have data points regarding the uh, fabricated aberration, which were measured with uh, a commercial, commercially available uh, array. And here, in gray, I have data regarding the statistics we use. Here I have the mean values for each of these Zernic terms and their respective uh, standard deviation. Um, you can see that the, the aberration we produce have, has some of its Zernic terms uh, compatible, let's say, uh, to the statistics we use in the optimization and some which are out of the range of those uh, Zernic terms. Anyway, we decided to, to use this as a first test to our, uh, to our fabricated arrays. And then we got these results. In these results, I have here in black the uh, aberration measured by a commercially available uh, micro lens array with 127 uh, micro lenses in a hexagonal geometry. And here we have the results for our other arrays. The results for the array with 10 optimized uh, micro lenses uh, 
have some good and bad results, you can see here in gray. Uh, we believe that uh, this array, the, the results for this array were affected by numerical uh, errors due to the software we used in, uh, to reconstruct this matrix, to reconstruct these aberrations. Because it's in a theoretical limit of the reconstruction process, because we use 20 Zermatt terms and it has 10 uh, micro lenses. So it's in the theoretical limit and the software was quite unstable during measurement. So we think the results of this micro lens were affected by this. Uh, the micro lens with 16, the array with 16 micro lenses have uh, bad results that as already expected uh, by simulation. And uh, the results of the third of the array with 36 micro lenses uh, also have, have some bad results and uh, I think this was also affected by uh, some physical damages we have uh, with some of the micro lenses of this array. But the interesting result was with the array with uh, 16 micro lenses, the optimized array. Uh, this was closer to the, the results from the commercially available array. And we have then compared the, the results for this uh, optimized array with 16 micro lenses and of the commercial array. Uh, we have uh, calculated the person's co coefficient and we see that there's a quite high uh, correlation between these results. So in general, what we conclude is that the, the experimental results, they uh, cooperate with those we obtain from simulation, although some deviation were observed. What uh, means that we still have some, some work to do to refine these results. And uh, that's what we propose. Uh, the first work we, we still have to do is to fabricate by silicon micro machine an optical aberration with which is fully compatible with that statistics. And we also plan to include the number of micro lenses as a variable in the optimization uh, process and also study the influence of micro lens diameter and also the parametry per meter geometry of each of these micro lenses. Uh, the aberrated waveforms we are already uh, fabricating and these are the pictures on to illustrate uh, of the aberrations we are uh, working on now. Thank you.